हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अब्दुल मुबीन ए मुंडेवाड़ी फ्रॉम मुंडेवाड़ी आयुर्वेदिक क्लिनिक इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस रिवर्स एजिंग सिंपल फैक्ट्स एंड प्रैक्टिकल टिप्स फॉर गुड हेल्थ नाउ करेंटली देर इज अ रेज ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ रिवर्सिंग एजिंग एक्चुअली रिवर्स एजिंग इज जस्ट अनदर वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट हाउ टू मेंटेन गुड हेल्थ Now in this discussion the subject matter has been simplified to the maximum extent possible and i have placed in question and answer format to make things easier theoretical facts have been simplified and the take home message given as practical tips now first point is what is aging now aging is a natural and irreversible process involving a gradual physical degradation and a physi- physiological decline of the living body both at the cellular level as well as in the whole structure means the whole body which inevitably leads to death now aging is defined in two ways what is the first chronological this refers to body age in terms of time what is that years months and days now this is irreversible now the second is biological or physiological age now this refers to health status in terms of body function defined by cellular or molecular parameters now this can be delayed or reversed to a limited extent now aging ultimately leads to aging of body tissues and organs decline in quality of life reduced ability to resist disease and an increased incidence of age related degenerative diseases now researchers speculate that biological age may be lesser or more than chronological age subject to a maximum of 25 years Now the maximum possible current human age may be up to 125 years. Now the second point is how can aging be measured? Now biological age reflects an individual's functional capacity, well-being and mortality risk. It can be measured in different ways though as yet there is no one single established and accepted modality. Now aging clocks use different inputs like DNA methylation sites to make a health prediction. Other automatic calculators use biomarkers like arterial pressure, glycated hemoglobin, waist circumference, forced expiratory volume in 1 second, maximum oxygen consumption, adenopectin, high density lipoprotein, total cholesterol, etc. Now the list varies in different calculators. Such predictions have health awareness enhancing value by defining health risks as well as damaging lifestyle Now premature mortality may be a red flag based on the knowledge of age related diseases social variables and mental health conditions Now what contributes to aging Aging actually takes place at the cellular level with old cells giving rise to new cells but with a progressively shorter DNA window Now this process is known as telomere shortening and may be a major cause of aging so aging translates into an increased susceptibility to age related diseases and this is caused by epigenetic decline modifications now aging can be controlled by environmental factors like physical fitness lifestyle nutrition gender and genetic makeup now personal setbacks professional failures and unforeseen tragedies may accelerate the process long term exposure to sun reduces skin elasticity and makes a person look older now sedentary lifestyle sleep deprivation and bad eating habits are the commonest contributors to rapid aging on the other hand healthy aging may be defined as the ability to accomplish activities of daily living freedom from mental illness and memory problems freedom from disabling or chronic pain self reported perceptions of happiness and physical health and adequate social support now people more likely to be associated with healthy aging are those who have health awareness at a younger age have higher incomes are married are not obese have never smoked and do not have sleep issues do not have heart disease or arthritis and they engage in some form of moderate or strenuous physical activity now how can aging be reversed now this discussion can be grouped into two parts now the first part is pre preclinical or the laboratory studies Now in this cellular reprogramming was done in mice with the help of enzymes and drugs to reverse the age clock without actually making the cells lose their identity. Now this resulted in rejuvenation of aged muscles, liver tissue, optic nerve, brain tissue and kidney tissue with improved vision and extended lifespan in mice and monkeys. 
the process involved rebooting epigenetic instructions rather than actually repairing damaged dna this technique was used successfully and consistently to both increase as well as reverse age now researchers used car t cells to eliminate damaged or aged cells in mice to slow down the aging process and planned calorie restriction was found to extend life span in mice now this is the first part the laboratory part now what is the second part human studies and documented practices now we will go into the details of this what is this the first one is slowing or reversing of aging has been demonstrated by simple intervention interventions such as calorie restriction a plant based diet lifestyle changes involving exercise and a drug regime including metformin and vitamin d3 supplementation now age deceleration has been found to be connected to high quality sleep physical activity a healthy diet and the use of some specific molecules like the anti hypertensive drug doxazosin and the metabolite alpha ketoglutarate now age defying products have not been found to help significantly with reverse aging please note this now limited improvement for different health parameters may be seen with glutathione resveratrol brain derived neurotrophic factor nitric oxide meditation and hyperbaric oxygen treatment a mediterranean diet focuses on lean proteins plenty of fruits and vegetables whole grains and healthy fats like olive oil and fatty fish now this type of diet has been found to protect against heart disease heart attacks and strokes prevent loss of muscles due to aging delay age related cognitive decline dementia and alzheimers and delay skin aging now dna methylation patterns track the track the accumulation of damage and loss of function to human cells tissues and organs and thereby help understand aging and age related diseases now the tracking of a group of humans for their diet exercise and relaxation and supplemental probiotics and phytonutrients intake demonstrated a 3 year reduction in biological age by using such an aging clock now exercise a plant based diet getting enough sleep and optimal stress management all coming under the heading of human behavior and environment can control the epigenome and prevent disease producing gene activation in a person with a genetic predisposition of for heart disease and diabetes regular exposure to cold may improve metabolism reduce inflammation and combat obesity exposure to heat may remove damaged proteins and boost the immune system supplementation with metformin resveratrol and nicotinamide mononucleotide known in short as nmn now this may help reduce inflammation clear up aging cells keep the cardiovascular system healthy and improve energy levels a well known anti aging researcher incorporates the following in his day to day life now what are these points a uh, reduced starch and sugar to bare minimum a plant based diet eating once a day and thereby keeping weight to the lower end of optimum regular exercise including walking lifting weights and jogging regular sauna ice cold water dip regular intake of vitamin d k2 aspirin resveratrol metformin and nmn i have mentioned this just some time back now his biological age is said to be a decade lesser than his chronological age researchers have also identified blue zones now these are regions spread throughout the world where there is a maximum concentration of people living longer than 100 years now what what is the important point here they have the following characteristics in common they move naturally they don't go to the gym they have a purpose in life they learn to manage stress they eat only to 80% of their capacity they have a more plant based diet they drink wine daily in moderation they belong to some faith based community they keep close family first and lastly they live in social communities that support healthy behavior now the last point is what are some practical steps to stay healthy and reverse biological aging now these are some points which i have listed these are eat in moderation mostly a mediterranean diet consume more complex carbohydrates such as whole gar- whole grains fruits and vegetables consume fatty fish twice a week eat green yellow and orange fruits and vegetables have at least one serving of nuts berries and green tea a day use spices like ginger turmeric cloves cinnamon oregano and garlic reduce or avoid red meat avoid processed foods pastries and ice creams and now this is related to diet what are the other points these are quit smoking drink alcohol if at all only in moderation get enough sleep exercise regularly with a mix of weight lifting cardio exercises muscle strengthening exercises 
yoga deep breathing and meditation learn to minimize stress now learn the optimum utilization of supplements if required consult a geriatric or anti aging expert supplements include antioxidants vitamins and probiotics now you should be be wary of the regular use of hormones now uh, last two points are modify your attitude reprogram your vision of old age never consider retiring get rid of guilt and negative emotions embrace major changes in life learn time management keep learning something new have a purpose in life and the last point is maintain a small social circle prioritize relations with close family members so friends this is a short description of reverse aging and some uh, tips i have mentioned practical tips for maintaining good health let's meet in the next video goodbye